We are tracking a wildfire in Wasco County, and we just learned about an hour ago that the Large Creek fire has grown to 7,000 acres. KGW's Thomas Schultz is covering this fire for us live there in Ty Valley. So, Thomas, we know you just talked to someone who actually lives in that area. Yeah, we did, Drew, and she's got family members. Her mom and her father live right across the valley here, and she came over to this lookout to see how conditions looked right now to see if she could see any fire or any blaze right now. Just that hazy smoke settling into the valley, kind of coating the area around here uh, right now. Fires around 7000 acres at last report around 540 and that's grown doubled since last night when it was around 3500 acres. Now officials say this is 0% contained. They're still working uh, in, in conjunction with windy conditions, which is making it difficult to fight this fire. We're about five miles southwest of Dufer, Oregon, and officials say that this fire, it's spreading rapidly. But all morning long, people have been coming over to this lookout to see, one, how their property looks, to see if their house might be affected, to see how their family is doing. Let's hear what this woman had to say. Yeah, it's uh, very concerning for sure and a little worried, but I have you know, full confidence in our local fire and all the agencies around. Um, we're no strangers to fire around here. We just had one, you know, in Maupin. But uh, it is concerning when you have, you know, you have a lot. We're a small community, so we know all the families around here. And that's been the common sentiment all morning long, not only with her, but other people who have come up to this lookout to oversee the fire. They're all, I mean, this is common, guys. This is not unusual in Wasco County, but of course, they're all a little bit anxious. They're a bit on edge to see if they're going to be affected, if their neighbors are going to be affected. There's also uh, some evacuations. Around 100 people were evacuated. South Livestock has been evacuated. Right now, fire officials say that uh, it's under investigation how this fire started. They're looking into that, and of course, they're out here all morning fighting that fire just across the valley, guys. All right, Thomas Schultz live there in Wasco County. Obviously, this is a story we will continue to cover throughout the day here at KGW. Yeah, now let's get to Rod in the Weather Center. Rod, wind levels could have a huge impact here. Absolutely, and then by the way, we, so we know this much. We know it was clear yesterday, the start time on this fire being reported at 1233 yesterday afternoon. This was not caused by Mother Nature, it was clear. So the trying to determine how mankind, if you will, started this blaze. And if you think about it, so 1233 yesterday afternoon, here we are this morning, already 7,000 acres burned, rapidly growing. And one of the reasons for the rapid growth is this. We still today, east of the Cascades, including Wasco County, including down in Deschutes County, um, still have the excessive heat warning because temperatures in this area will be at least upper 90s and some of you will get up to 100, 101, 102. China mentioned the wind, the west wind forecast for this region today, west gusts up to about 35 miles per hour. Thomas showed us how thick the smoke is and we talked about this yesterday real quick. This is our nearest live cam. This is the Oregon Veterans Home camera in the Dallas. But yesterday I pointed out on this vantage point that everything because of the heat we've had going back to July 4th, the grasses have really dried out. A week ago, a lot of this was still green. So this fire being sparked yesterday toward the back end of this heat wave. And let's hope the firefighters can get some sort of containment today, but it's going to be difficult.